Trujillo Meadows Campground, Colorado. When Betty and I first learned about Trujillo Meadows Campground, we thought we would find some information about it on the internet. So we did a quick search and the search was mostly unsuccessful. We're currently the campground host and that's our campground right there. Look, Betty's outside doing laundry. <laughs> the purpose of this video is to do a quick tour with the video camera in hand shooting video from behind the wheel across the hood to give folks an idea of what exactly is available in the way of campsites and facilities at True Hill Meadows, Colorado. The upper loop, which has 24 campsites on it, and we're turning into that now, will accommodate fairly large fifth wheel and bumper pull trailers and there are pull throughs as well as back end campsites. The folks that are camping in campsite 22 are riding the steam train from Chama to Osier where they'll have lunch at Osier Pass today. The upper loop has two different vault type toilets and the campsites are separated by old growth conifers. Live streams run through the campground and several places. Good morning. And the roads do not dead end and cause a problem for turning around. Signage is adequate to keep you going the right way and not meet somebody with another large camper and have a passing problem. Campsites 12 and 13 adjoin each other and are pulled through. This is the other set of restroom facilities. There's a separate little kind of side loop. On the upper loop that also accommodates larger campers. It's a trout fishing thing. A lot of folks camp here and trout fish. And they come from all over to do just that because the fishing is Great. Trujillo Reservoir, which is just down below the Trujillo Meadows campground, is filled by the Rio de los Pinos. Here's the 
ADA campsite, which is located right next to the restroom facilities and has good concrete sidewalks all the way. I'll be concluding this video now and shoot a separate video of the lower loop. ATVs are permitted to and from your campsite only, but there's lots of ATV riding to do out in the National Forest all around.